What's up, everybody? Do -do -do -do. Crypto Muscle. Do -do -do -do. Coming to a gym near you. Pumping that iron. Do -do -do -do. Just kidding. Do -do -do -do. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Do -do -do -do. Oh, yes. You're internationally renowned, worldwide syndicated. The most electrifying YouTuber in the space today. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And here we are, PGI International. All right, PGI Global Trade. All right, this is what it's all about. What are we doing with PGI Global International Global? What are we doing? What is happening? Well, I'll talk about it in a second here. So what is PGI Global? Well, they've been around for, oof. Well, if you include um, the early period of when they came out, I guess pre-launch, um, they've been around for probably about a year, roughly, maybe close to a year. And then you had dweebs like an idiot, like the Singh brothers, that say, oh, they've only been around for a couple of months. And you got that, that definite idiot Jesse say, "Oh, well, I put out a video because it's fresh and new, and uh, you know I'm back in December, and uh, yeah, I usually they go for like six months, seven or eight months, but man, it only went out, it only came out three months, three months after I did my video, man, that's a record. Shut the hell up." That means you haven't done your research to see that they've been around way longer than you think, idiot. But no, because these idiots, they don't do their research. They trust things like Trustpilot. Who, who looks at Trustpilot besides those two guys? Those two brothers are... All they want to... They, they talk about the same thing, right? They mirror each other's videos. They say the same stuff. And then they say... Like, like they've they've busted the case wide open. Oh man, the, the biggest the biggest case they ever done was investigating Wisling and Birax. They keep on referencing to that because they got nothing else to talk about because they're idiots. But anyhow, let's talk about the real news and real updates. All right, because who provides real news and updates like yours truly, Crypto Muscle? All right. I talk about platforms whether I'm in it or not because you got other doofuses out there and morons like the Tiwis and stuff that say, I don't talk about platforms that I'm not in. But yet, even though he talks about them anyways, but yet he contradicts himself by saying he's not in it. Uh, I'm not talking about it. Well, it's like, um, I, I scratch my head at stuff that people say sometimes. But yet, everything I talk about whether I'm in or not it's still news that I bring to you guys that no other YouTuber does. Alright. Whether it's good or bad, whether I'm in it or not, good and bad, I still bring it up. All the damn time. Alright, that's enough of that. So, PGI Global. Yes, it's, uh, I, I will put it in the category as a legacy style platform, alright? Notice I put style because it's not a legacy yeah, you know, I mean, could be, but not quite there. And can it still be get there? Yes, if they solve their problems. But this thing's been dragging out uh, uh, almost three months now. It's been almost three months that they've dragged out this issue of withdrawals, all right? And... Whether or not they are looking for a solution, they're fixing the issues, they're stalling, whatever it is, all right? This, that's what is going on with PGI Global right now. And I got some interesting information that I'm going to provide for you guys. And it's for you guys to decide what you guys think on that. So, before I do that, though, what is PGI? Legacy style platform, all right? So, why is it legacy style? Because it's one of those platforms that fits in that category of all the others that are in that category like the cash effects cuba live shine excel and the list goes on and on well not really because there's not that many out there right it's just it's a small list because uh you know these sort of platforms they 
pretty much dominate the space. It you know they could take and dominate the space in terms of taking uh, the amount of people to sign up to join and be a part of it. You know, it, it, it takes on a lot of people more than mid-level platforms, more than hypes, all that stuff, right? So, legacy style, why? Well, they have products, right? If you don't have products to be, I guess, a part of this platform, then one, they're not legacy style. Two, uh, it's considered security. Three, then they'll be in the eyes of all the other authorities, and that's bad, all right? Whereas if you have products to support the platform, right, as part of its more or less ecosystem, then there's something there, right? Because um, you need to have products to go with trading and things like that. And they all typically do. The Cash of X has, well, they just have academy packs for education, right? Uh, Cuba Life has a lot of things. Uh, education license, corporate license, cashback license. Bots, things like that. So they have a lot of things. PGI, they have a lot of things as well. They have blockchain education. They have uh, health and wellness stuff, right? You know, education, which is blockchain education, crypto, right? Trading. So they have those things. So you have all that. Those are products that work for PGI Global. So that's what it's about. And these are some of the various functions that they share here. And by the way, they're still very active. They are, they, you know, they do functions, YouTube, um, Telegram, they're very active. So when you look at that, for something that some people say, oh, it's this and that, and they say all these, you know, bad things about it, I guess, then, then, um, yeah, you know, it, it can, probably give you the wrong idea about it when they really don't know until you really see it experience it yourself and it's a matter of choice if you don't do it well then don't just call it a a scam just because you think it is because you trust trust pilot of all things i mean actually look through it look at the all the information that's provided because it seems like they limit them their information out there so Let's take a look inside what I got here. I got, I, I've been in since September 1st. So that already debunks everything that those brothers say that, oh, it's, uh, it's only been around for a couple of months. No, it's been way longer than the September 1st I've been in. Uh, like, ask King of FOMO. He's been in way longer than me. All right. So when you look at that, so this is what I got so far, all right? I've had, uh, two active agreements, right? I had this, all right, I got, I'm about to get ready to uh, shut that thing off in a minute, but I need it. <laughs> all right, so I had a thousand dollar pack I started on September 1st, all right? And that recently got fulfilled. So now I have an active pack left of the 10,000 one that started, uh, it was like late October, uh, going into November. Um, I went into this one with a 10,000. And as you can see, uh, that's not fulfilled, so this is still active. And this is still active as in I still got uh, another, what, 32,000 or 32% to go. Not 32,000, 32% to go. So when you look at that, then uh, that's where I stand right now. And let's just see what the daily percentage has here. Let's see what they got here. If it pops up. Now, this is seven days a week too, by the way. So when you look at it, so I joined in, uh, yeah, it was like late sep- October and then it takes like three days to activate. So that's why I activated on Halloween day. So as you can see, 1.09, 1.04, 1.04, 1.02. Uh, so that's what you see there, right? And they've had days where it would go like, let me see here. It's been a while though, but um, they had two percent day. They had less than a one percent day, but for the most part, it's been hanging around one percent. Look at that, two point two percent that day. That was just in December. It wasn't that long ago. One point two five. You know, so it's been pretty random for the most part. One point three. 
So when you see all that, it's, uh, you know, that's where it's at. All right, so this is where I stand. Total earnings so far, 21.4, right? I put in 11. I was supposed to get 22. I'll get there eventually, but it's a matter of will I get paid for it. So let's take a look at withdrawals now. As you can see, I'm backed up five, right? One, two, three, four, five. I might as well just hit another withdrawal. All right, but before I do that, let's share the latest stuff here. So they've, like I said, they've been very active still. They just had one of these uh, YouTube um, get-togethers here for YouTube. Amazing April, what's new, what's happening. All that stuff right there, you, all these unique viewers, all this stuff, so it's still very active. And here's the latest information, uh, courtesy of, uh, one of my subscribers that's in my telegram group so i want to credit uh marion here so he provided this for me i think he was part of the meeting or the part of that youtube experience so he watched it and he kind of let us know what was going on in my chat here about what's going on with kala wallet kala wallet is not working the way they intended and this is according to the Mark Davis of PGI Global Trade, who's one of the, I guess, dudes, founding member of the UK and Iraq investor. So, says here, please do not put words in anyone's mouth. And if it is again impossible, please do not accuse each other or spread rumor or lie. The event is on. The company is doing well. The funds are moving. But as RV said, he's the main guy behind it. Kala is not working the way we want, and so it's taking a little longer. Meanwhile, payments continue to everyone. He has announced that Iraq and UK payments continuing as priority to get up to date with all with where all other countries are up to. Uh, the country by country option isn't the best, but it's chosen as one way, one of the best ways forward. And this is from the message from Mark, PGI founding member of uh, UK and Iraq investors. So I said, thanks for the information. So that was Marion provided that for me. So I said, thanks again. And, uh, yeah, so I guess they are doing country by country withdrawals. So that'd be kind of cool, actually, if uh, they hit up the United States and next thing you know, they gave all this to me. Wouldn't that be cool? But anyhow, let's just see what happens. So I still got one of these balances. I'm going to take one of them because you only can take one of them per week. Right. So usually Mondays are my withdrawal days. So I'm going to withdraw today. Uh, 645. So I want that. They take only uh 8%, which is anything's better than 20%. I don't know. Is it me or is that true? I mean, yeah, anything's better than 20%. So let me check out my email real quick because unconfirmed till it's confirmed. So I hit a second to confirm it. So let's just uh reconfirm it now. Now it's confirmed. So it usually takes a couple of days to process it, I guess, the confirmation of the withdrawal, and then it becomes processing. So now that'll back me up to one, two, three, four, five, six withdrawals around the round, uh, approximately the same amount. So we'll see if uh, they come through on this or not. As you saw there, Kala Wallet was is not working as they intended. So we'll see what sort of step forward or improvement or what plan b is or whatever it is that they're coming up with right now so uh they're working on it and withdrawals are open um you know five i think it's five days a week because they change their withdrawal to where it's open five days a week and you only can do it once a week though so you just got to keep an eye on that and uh yeah, we'll see what happens on that. So that's the latest on that. That uh, it's going to take a little bit more time to work out this whole Kala Wallet situation or whatever they're trying to do uh, to work out these withdrawals. And as you can see, they're still active. They're still doing their thing. And every third Saturday, they do their Super Saturday. So that would be next Saturday. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. So uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Links down below for everything I'm in. I've had PGI uh, unlisted as a, a link for a, lot, a while now. So I just want to see if they could get this thing together or not. 
and go from there. So uh, other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next one.